Hey guys, it's Steph and I'm back with another prank. Tasha been trying to prank me a little bit too much lately, so I gotta get her ass back, y'all. So I decided I'm gonna be doing the whispering to myself prank. I think this shit gonna be hilarious. She's gonna be irritated as fuck. So I don't even know how long I'm gonna be able to pull this prank off, but we're gonna try to irritate her as much as possible because y'all know that's how I do. Let's get it. That's Tasha, that's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We gonna eat a little, prank a little. Our story time is the best. Have you LOL when you click play? Nah, no, this ain't no click bait. What's up, y'all? Hey, guys, it's Steph. And Tasha, we are back with another mukbang. If you're new here, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the family. If you've been before, welcome back. Baby, tell them what we're doing today. Today, you guys, we are doing sausage, rice, cucumber, and snow crab, apparently. And a topic. And a viewer topic. Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, we are back. Don't have to tell you what we have because I told you everything in the intro. So we about to get right to eating. Mm-hmm. Sausage, rice, and cucumber. Y'all, it's 141. We need to be done by 2. <laughs> right. We need to be done yeah, by 2 o'clock. So two we going to... Push it straight through, straight oh. through. We got a topic. What's wrong? Jerky? Yeah. Too much time for those. For mine? Mm hmm. Nah, they good. Okay. I like jerky. Okay. Even camel jerky. See, I know how we do with the rice. We make our butter sauce and mm. we. I got some extra sauce over here, y'all. Put the sauce on top of the rice. Mine is B Love. Mixture, y'all already know. Be love combo. Tasha got me this cute little sweater, and I do not want to get it messed up, you guys. The reason why y'all always see me in the same black shirts is because I am messy, and I will mess my shirts up. I don't want to mess my shirts up. I wish the floor could be black. Okay, wait a minute. I um, <laughs> before the video, I got something on my shirt, y'all. But luckily, she got some oxy clean, so it's out. You see it? Mm -hmm, I saw it. it. Got I was surprised. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I knew she was gonna come to the video with a dirty shirt on. <laughs> I just knew it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, I actually was going to show you guys the recipe for this because even though I, we've given the recipe before, um, huh? No, I'm sorry. Y'all haven't seen it. Some of y'all haven't seen it. You still ask? But we in a hurry. So you look cucumber thing. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I was gonna get up and vlog. I had plans. To do all kind of stuff, but plans changed because you know See, what, what happened was what had happened last night. We decided to have fun, mm -hmm. or else we would have been up earlier tonight. I mean today, but it didn't have any kind of lasting effect. No hangover. No, that was great. Oh, and I like to put a little bit of this on it. Why the crap over there by you? Like you, the only person that's not me. I didn't think you wanted any. I was thinking you probably didn't want any. Oh, today. Oh. Well, not wrong. It's right here, babe. Shut I know. up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. That's bad enough. Mm. My baby's eating, okay? I'm hungry. She ain't worried about me. Mmm. Mmm. Uh oh. Mmm. -mm. Mm -mm. I'm getting a little crazy over here, y'all. So last night I took an editing break, y'all, and we ended up doing like a little mini game. You took an editing break? You edited. <laughs> but I wanted to edit more. Oh, okay. I could have edited more. I have okay. a lot of videos. We have several vlogs mm. that I need to edit, y'all, so they coming. We don't have a vlog out today? No. Oh, you tripping. <laughs> you tripping. Uh. Look here, mm. calm down. You did you want to hang out last night? Mm -hmm. Okay then. Shoot. Mm. Oh, that's good. Mm. Mm. That's good. Yeah. Mm. Oh, we're not even recording. Hmm? We're not even recording. Fuck them. Mm. Why are you playing? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what? Nothing. Mm -mm. Oh. oh my god, why is it so good, babe? It's bomb. Like, really bomb. Ah. Oh, that water just got me full. I'm mad. Wait a minute. Mm. Hold up, killer. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hold up. We got two different types of, types of sausage. Mm -hmm. I forgot what this is, but I like it. Silver hot links. Silver hot links. Mm. 
Y'all yeah, haven't tried silver hot wings? Try them. They're really good. Mm -hmm. Every good. Mm. Every good hot wings were my favorite. Try silver. I tried silver because they didn't have every good one day. And I was like, oh, okay. This sauce just tastes like pork butt. I'm not really into those. The habanero ones. I don't like them. I don't like the ones with fruit in them. I taste the pork. <clears throat> Do y'all realize sometimes you can taste pork? I remember when I was a kid, and I used to, my parents used to get um, pizza. Mm mm. Not with pineapples. No. Uh oh. It would have um, Italian sausage, and I oh. would always get sick. Oh. Uh. Not really sick, but mm -hmm. I would feel sick mm -hmm. when I ate it every single time. I don't know why. I liked the, the flavor of it, but I always felt sick. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking it was the pork, but I ate pepperoni too, and that didn't give me the problem. So, oh, yeah. huh? Are you? Uh. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, we are excited to announce that we will be collabing with Goodman Picks to do a 50k giveaway on our channel. Woo! Yes, three of our lucky subscribers will be randomly selected to win a $10,000 prize, $15,000 prize, and $25,000 prize. In order to be entered into the giveaway, you must first subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow our Instagram, and subscribe to Goodman Picks. Goodman Picks is a stock advisory group with over 30 years experience investing in the stock market. They research companies to determine the best investment picks for their clients on a monthly basis. Their picks consistently outperform the market, leading their clients to an average of 30 to 40% return on their investment. That's good. Use code OGV to get 20% off of any package on the Goodman Picks website. You guys, click the link in the description below to learn more about Goodman Picks and to hear about the full details of the giveaway. Woo! Oh, you want dip? Something is hot. Oh, it's that damn hot link. Mm-hmm. Oh, the hot link is really hot. Shit. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's good. Hot. That's so good. Mm -hmm. That boy good. Mm. To my tax client, leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> I'm done. Ooh. I have sent you what you needed more than once. Leave me the fuck alone. Ooh. I love her too. I ain't gonna lie, I love her. She. Oh, she don't want. I don't get. She watch. She watch. You know, goddamn, I'm tired of your <laughs> shit. <laughs> I sent it. I'm doing bad one. Like, right. you know, we have clients, different types of clients, y'all. Mm hmm Some are very easy. Send nice stuff. You send, tell them what's going on. They thank you, here's the payment, and goodbye. And then you have the people who want to harass you mm. 25 times a day, asking you different questions. Man. <laughs> Calling before tax even even starts, asking can we start doing the tax. No, mm -hmm. you don't even have your W-2 for it. Right. <laughs> Can you do it with my last check stuff? No! I can't! <laughs> Leave me alone! Love y'all, but mm -hmm. some of y'all are hard to deal with, especially like during tax season because we're so busy and it's like, oh my god, I don't have all this time to spend on this one person. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. It's a job, y'all. So if you call him and you spending an hour with me, you taking an hour away from the other person, the other two or three people I could have done in this hour or got some of the information and I ain't gonna lie, one lady, I told her last year, and I didn't realize that I did her daughter's taxes too. She called me last year, and I was like, I don't do taxes no more. <laughs> I just straight up to because she is the time. Now, I'm gonna tell you this. I got all my nerves. Ooh. She called me. I do her taxes, right? She calls me a month before tax season, whatever. I need my taxes done. I said, I already know. I got you. Calls me all day. It's time to do taxes. I do the taxes. Okay. It's gonna be 10 to 21 days. She's like, all right, cool. Five days later. So it's gonna be 10 to 21 days. Yes, I said that. All right, seven two days after that, before it's even 10 days. So you 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 know it's gonna be there, right? And then I'm gonna get it and it's gonna go to my card. And then right. yes, I said that already. So then if it don't come on the 10 day, 10 day, it's been 10 days and I ain't got nothing. I said 10 to 21. Okay, it's been 15 days. Well, I know you said 10 to 20, but it's in the two right now, so I don't mm. understand where it is. Mm -hmm. I mean, she would harass me and harass me and harass me and harass me and call me all the time about me. So I finally this last year, she called me and I was like, I don't do taxes no more. Mm -hmm. And she was like, huh? I was like, I don't do taxes no more. And she was like, but you did my daughter's taxes. And I was like, oh. I was like, well, I, I, I don't want to do yours. And I just thought I had to tell her the truth. I was like, I don't want to do yours. Too and much. she just, she was mad, but <laughs> you, you bothered me. You annoyed me. I'm sorry, ma'am. And then I had one person 
that tried to accuse me. Oh, because she didn't get her money. Um, and she was like, I can't remember exactly like all the specifics behind it, but she didn't get her money. She ended up not getting her money. And she was like, well, if you try to use my social security number, you know, I already got a fraud alert out. And I was like, what are you talking about? And she was an older woman, you know, I'm like, what, what, why are you thinking that way, ma'am? Huh? What'd you say? I ain't gonna put that in there. Okay. So, um, yeah. I was like, whatever, lady. Oh, I kind of went off on her. I usually don't go off on people. But I ended up texting her. Because she, huh? What? Oh, this, this cucumber looks strange. Right. Right, she she texted me and told me um that. She texted me and told me, you know, I got a fraud on my social security number, so don't be trying to do whatever. And I was I texted her back and I was like, lady. I just said what I got to steal from you for, basically. What I got to steal from you for. I did your taxes. So I see how much money you make, ma'am. But a lot of people are out there doing fraudulent tax stuff, so I don't feel like people are on edge. I would say it should be. You know, I understand yeah. that. But I told her, call the IRS, talk to them. They gonna tell you what happened. At least if they gonna tell you if somebody stole your shit or if you owe, you owe, dummy. Right. So at least you'll know. Oh, nobody stole my stuff. I owe money. I feel like if you owe, you should know something. I feel like a lot of these people act like they don't know. Girl, one girl didn't pay me because the IRS took her money, and she was like, "Well, I don't feel like I should pay you oh, since." Yeah, that's um, since they took my money, they took her money for last year's taxes or something like that. She was like, I don't feel like I should pay you. Bitch, what are you talking about? Okay, if anybody's out here that's listening to this right now and you do your taxes and you don't get your money, that does not mean that the tax preparer should not get paid. Right. People don't have a different mind about this service for some reason. Yeah. Like with every other service, it's like, I do the service and you pay me. Yeah. We already wait a long time sometimes for people's payments mm -hmm. when we wait till they get the refund. But then if you owe somebody something and you don't get your refund, you still have to pay your tax I did guys. your taxes. <laughs> okay. The taxes are still done. So let's say the IRS took your money. So whatever bill that was outstanding is now paid because I did your taxes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you didn't get it, but somebody got it. Somebody that you owe. So now you don't owe that your thing debt anymore. Paid off, man. You know? And she didn't even, they didn't take all her money. They just took some of her money because she owed whatever she owed. And she still didn't. And she did not pay me. Because I have some clients that I don't charge up front. Some I do. Um, well, ch ch charge through this um, program. We charge and take the money out. But there's some people I don't do that to for certain reasons. And like they might not have a bank account or whatever the case is. And I just trust them to pay me, right? This motherfucker did me wrong. She was like, well, I don't. And she, it's not like she was afraid to say it. She called me and was like, they took $1,000 from me. She still got like $4,000. So I don't feel like. All I'm charging her was three hundred dollars. Oh well, I don't feel like I should pay you because they took my money. And I was like, well, that don't have nothing to do with me. She was like, well, you should have known. How was I supposed to know you? So she, said, she had, had an attitude, attitude babe. She had an attitude. My no. Quinta, my Quinta Williams. And I, oh, now nah, see, there's something we can do called amended return. Yes, where we can yes change things. Yeah, I would have redone her return. With I wanted to. On it, bitch. I <laughs> wanted to. Now that's what I wanted to. I wanted to redo her return and mess her. But you know. We in this business. Stephanie wouldn't have done that. I wouldn't have done that. Stephanie wouldn't have done that. I want to though. But you got the heart. You know, I had the, the mind to be like, bitch, you know I can fuck you up. You know I can do your taxes next year and just have you making $15 million so you owe a million. Mm. You know? But you can't do stuff like that. I mean, you can. You can do whatever you want. But, you, you know, you can get in trouble. Yeah. Like doing stuff like that. But I want to. Mm. I mean, when you deal with people's property, you have to be a person uh, with a lot in of integrity. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean... Just like being a nurse. When I was doing nursing, and I was doing home health, I had all my clients' information. Social security numbers, but everything. And I did taxes. Do you know how many people, not how many people, but there are some people that would have took advantage of that and, you know, done stuff. Yep. Mm -hmm. I remember having somebody around me when I was doing taxes, and I also had clients that had paperwork, and I just made sure that that motherfucker was not around. Tia. I was like, oh, she can't be around my social security numbers and all that clients because mm -mm. I found my ID in her phone. Huh? Huh? My soulmate. What? What are you talking about? Go ahead and talk about your little ex-girlfriend.
Oh, that's like a. Have a mm -hmm. great day. What? Why are you talking under your breath? Yourself, but I didn't know that you were um we said stuff about me the whole time? Yeah. I was trying I, to get yeah, I was trying to say things about you so you'd be like, what the hell? I couldn't hear you. Yeah. Mm. I mean I'm whispering so you wasn't gonna be able to mm. be able to hear me. I thought you were like talking to see your food and stuff. I was like, okay. <laughs> but you got me on that one. Okay. Y'all good. Y'all good. So that's why you do that? Or no? I found it. I wanted to shout the person out. I'm gonna put their name in here. Mm -hmm. I saw it on somebody else's channel. Mm, that was I don't, good. I don't remember their name. That was a good one. Um, yeah. I knew that was gonna be funny, y'all. I thought she was gonna go off a little sooner. You talked to her? Yeah. Oh, I couldn't hear you. Right. <laughs> I couldn't hear anything saying, but don't be talking about ET and then <laughs> think I'm not gonna say something. Mm-mm. <laughs> uh, I mean, it didn't even have a topic. I mean, I could try to read it real fast. So we got we got 17. Well, you can read it real fast. We're gonna go real fast, y'all. All right, so we got to go anyway. Yeah, we do. All right. So, she said, I've been married, wait, I'm 27, been married for three years now. I have four kids plus a bonus child. Things have been crazy. My husband thinks it's okay to tell his mom that he hates me. I'm not shit and that I'm not a good wife or mom. He treats me and my girls like shit. What? I feel as if he's only treating me this way because I have nowhere to go. I can't get a job because he says, who's going to take the kids to and from school or who's going to watch the baby? Mind you, he works from 4 p.m. to 1 a.m. I can't even hang out with my family because he always texting me crazy as if I'm doing something wrong. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what to do at this point. I can't move in with my family because they have their own thing going on. He even gets mad when I watch your videos every day. He says, you like girls now? Oh. <laughs> yeah, she can come over with us. Her oh. and your daughters, man. <laughs> we'll, watch Let him see we'll watch the kids while you go to work. Let him see that. And then he's going to be up with the kids on YouTube. They're going to be making money. They're going to make it work with their daddy. That's what you okay. should do for real, though. Exactly. Shit, if you start if you a think channel. you might want to do a YouTube, start a YouTube channel with your kids. Y'all be making money in no time. And leave his ass. Okay. And be like, have the kids say, hi, daddy. Shit. I definitely would try to find some kind of way. I don't know. Like, maybe, aren't there some jobs that have, like, babysitting as a part of your benefits? Oh, I don't know. I, I think, I feel like I've heard that. Let me know in the comments, y'all. I feel like some companies do that. Um, But you got to get on your feet. You got to get independent so you get the hell up out of there. Some kind of way. Yeah. I don't know how you gonna do it, girl. <sighs> Cause see, she got the kids, so she has four. But they are in school, so she don't really except for a baby. Sitting. She got one baby. Oh, she got a baby. Yeah, she has a baby. I don't know. She said a baby. Who gonna watch the baby? <sighs> the kids go back and forth. You might school, have to so wait for a minute to the baby get in school. Yeah. Because what she gonna do? She don't. If you don't have any money, you don't have money for a babysitter. You can't do anything. All right. Postmate with the baby. If you get if you have a car, both of them. Oh, and look, car. when she goes with her family, he texts her crazy like she's doing something. So he don't even want her being around. He's just insane and controlling. Yeah. Okay. But then he and, hates her and says that she's and a bad. Mom. He, okay. So he what he is? He loves the fact that she's not independent. Yes. So now I can treat you like trash. Yes. And I'm gonna keep you here. Yes. Cause you can't go nowhere anyway. Exactly. And you never will be able to go anywhere. Cause he ain't shit. Mm -hmm. That's why. That's he needs he to be left. Yeah. He needs to be ASAP. left. So the best thing you can do is maybe ask your family if they can help you. I know you your family got your they own thing, but I'm sure that they care about you and they want you to be safe and they want you to be happy. Mm -hmm. So see if maybe they can watch the kid here and there while you go look for a job or something like that. They do have work at home jobs. I don't know how much work they pay home. or anything. Work they have work at home jobs. It's something called work at home mom. Mm -hmm. Um the work the work at home woman. That's all. Online. You can look at Facebook. On Facebook, you can join some groups that are work at home groups. I've seen them, and people are saying that they're real. They'll post like when AT and T or Spectrum or whoever has like online jobs. They post them all the time, and they say it's legit. You go and apply and do whatever. Um, while the baby is a baby. Yeah, I mean, I think right now, especially after COVID, a lot of places are doing at home stuff. So it you it might be easier to find something at home now. Uh -huh. You know, look. Look, start your ass off every single day. Something's gonna come up. Yeah, trust me. And if you cute, send us some pictures. I mean, <laughs> you never know. Really piss that nigga off. What? Right? <laughs> what? I'm just playing. For what? Yeah. Third wife in the instant family. 
Yeah, I mean, so I don't four like four girls. Uh, two, two girls. No, leave four girls is a lot. Bring two. Leave the baby and leave the other no, youngest one. I want the baby. You want the baby? Yeah. All right. So I'll, bring, I'll the baby. bring the baby and bring the oldest one, so the oldest one can watch the baby sometimes while we go out and hang out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that we do that. Yeah. Leave the two middle kids. Okay, now when somebody show up with our at our door with some damn kids, don't say nothing because you done told them to go. Make sure you got the big booty. That's all I ask. That's fine. You don't even care about booty like that. Well, you gotta have booty too. So. <laughs> <laughs> show him this video. He gonna be a big man. He gonna be big. Man. You gotta be a brick house. I'm just playing. We just playing with you. Get out of there. Get some um. Get a get a work at home job and get the hell out of there. Mm -hmm. F him. All right, y'all. So if y'all like the video, give it a thumbs up. Let us know what you guys think. We got a vlog channel, seven touch vlogs. Link is in the description below. Set your notifications to all so you'll be reminded of daily uploads, live streams, premieres. Until next time, only goodbye. Peace.